Hi, I'm Dr. Sajjad Khan. For over 30 years, I've seen thousands of my clients enjoy the confidence that comes from having great looking hair. Today, I'm going to talk about a very important and interesting topic, the hair grain. Why our hair turn gray, how to prevent the grain, and the science behind it. And I'll offer the effective strategies how to prevent the grain and even reverse the grain process. Most of us go through the grain in our lives and majority don't like it. The reason is that grain presents a multifaceted challenge. It not only entails the loss of hair color or makes you look older, it led to deterioration of hair texture, vibrancy, luster, and shine. Consequently, hair becomes wiry, wavy, unruly, drier, and frizzy. So it's imperative to prevent the optimal functioning of hair pigment cells, not to prevent the graying, rather preserve the hair health, vibrancy, luster, shine of one's hair for an extended period of time. Now let's talk why our hair turns gray and the science behind it. There are two important players in hair graying. One is the stem cells and the second is the hair pigment cells. As we age, the activity of stem cells in our hair follicles decreases and it led to the loss of hair pigment cells and result in graying. Question, why then younger people get graying even before reaching in their 20s? Over hair is linked to the hormonal and nutritional deficiencies and it's not the loss of pigment cells, it's their inability to produce the color we can find the exact hormonal and nutritional deficiencies through blood hormonal test and micronutrient test. Once those deficiencies are corrected, hair color can bounce back. There are certain vitamins and minerals and hormones which help in reverse premature graying as well. These vitamins are vitamin B, C, and D. And among the minerals, these are zinc, magnesium, copper, and selenium. And the hormones which help in reverse grain are the growth hormone, thyroid hormone, melatonin, and insulin. Premature grain is not only caused by the nutritional and hormonal deficiencies. Extreme stress can also cause the premature grain. In extreme stress, the bad hormone cortisol level increases in the blood as well as in the hair follicle. The cortisol interfere with the ability of pigment cells to produce the color and lead to the grain. But once the stress is managed, cortisol get cleared up from the hair follicle and the hair color can return back to normal. Sun damage can also cause the premature hair gain. In sun damage, there is damage to the stem cells as well as to the pigment cells and their ability to produce the color and lead to the premature gain. Sun damage can be prevented by using the broad spectrum hair and scalp sunscreens. Hair and scalp sunscreens are different than the skin sunscreens. And we should look for the ingredients, especially eubenzone, zinc oxide, and titanium oxide. Now let's talk about the age-related hair grain. During the normal hair growth process, free radicals and oxidants are produced. They can damage the hair pigment cells. Thankfully, our body defense mechanism consisting of antioxidative enzymes and molecules like superoxide dismutase, catalase, glutathione peroxidase, ubiquinone, vitamin C, and E, they diligently neutralize these bad radicals. But during the same growth process, one of the reactive superoxide ions are also produced. They are very damaging to the hair pigment cells. They are neutralized by the superoxide dismutase into the hydrogen peroxide. But hydrogen peroxide is still damaging to the hair pigment cells. And here the catalase come into the play and neutralize hydrogen peroxide into the water and oxygen. As we age, our defense mechanism ability gradually diminishes. And it is not able to clear off all those free radicals and oxidants from the hair follicle and it could lead damage to the hair follicle structure, stem cells, as well as to the pigment cells, and grain process could set in. 
Second, in the beginning of the grain process, a mammalian target of rapamycin complex activity increases in the hair follicle. It is very damaging to the hair pigment cell. Thirdly, a melanogenic neurohormone is no longer produced by the keratinocytes in the hair ball and that also is very damaging to the hair pigment cells. So these three processes lead to the inability of melanocytes to produce the color and sets in the grain. Luckily, but the hair pigment cells in the early process of grain are still alive. It presents a window of opportunity to reverse the grain by taking certain proactive actions. There are seven proactive measures which can help prevent further graying and reverse the early graying phenomena. Number one, by keeping the hair longer in the growth phase by using low level light therapy and minoxidil. Second, microneedling. It is a controlled trauma that stimulates the pigment cells as well as the stem cells. Third, by injecting the growth factors into the scalp, it stimulates the pigment cells. Fourth is a regenerative medicine. It's a mesochymal stem cell driven exosome when injected into the scalp, they rejuvenate the pigment cells. Fifth is easy. These are scalp massages, stretches the hair bulb, and by stretching that, it stimulates the pigment cells. Sixth is anti-aging medicines that rapamycin and melatonin, when applied topically, stimulate the pigment cells. Seventh is a preventive measure. Using the scalp and hair sunscreen prevent further damage to the stem cell and the pigment cells. Remember, once the pigment cell die, reversing grain become nearly impossible. So it's very important to take these proactive measures early on, not only to prevent the grain, rather preserve health, shine, luster, beauty of your crowning glory for much, much longer. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.